Uh, I mean, I, I told the guys after, I wish I had some magical words to make them feel good. Obviously, wins and losses are the most important thing. And, um, you know, again, uh, our, our effort was good. Um, we played against one of the best teams in the country, and they, they played at a high level. And, and uh, they had not played at a high level. Obviously, they shot 25% the last game. People don't understand when you don't practice for whatever. It's two weeks, 16 days, and you got guys out that have gone through the illness uh, it takes a while, even when you're an elite player like they have. Um, yet we got it. We got one of their best shots, and and we were there till the end. The one little stretch, um, I thought, start of the second half, our our execution, our poise was just not very good, and and that that stretch pushed them back, whatever it was, 14, 15 point lead. But again, our guys um, got refocused, and. Uh, we get, we, I thought our defense in that last like eight, 10 minutes was as good as it's been all year because they, they want to take us and they're elite guards and they can take us. And we stayed in front of them. We made them take tough shots. We rebounded. Um, we had a couple of fast breaks that, you know, you have those opportunities and we just didn't get them done. Um, you know, it's just, uh, I just feel for our guys. And I just ask them to please keep believing, keep having faith. You know, a few weeks ago, they beat us by a, a large sum. And now we played them, and they probably even played better than they did that time. And it, it came down to the end, and uh, but we just could not get a win. Thank you, Coach. We'll start with questions. Uh, the first one from Kellis Robinette. It seemed like one thing your team did better today was uh, when Texas did try to go on runs, they did what you've been talking about. They actually stood up and fought back um, in both halves, really. What do you think was the difference there? Why do you think they answered the call tonight? Well, I just think part of it, we've been together. We have some continuity. Um, we have the same guys in, in the game. I, I love what Antonio's done. Uh, Stan just asked me about accepting roles. And Tone is the last stretch here uh he's accepted his role and 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 he's taken some pride in it to, you know i i don't have stats but we think they double digit rebounds for him eight points uh, he let us on to play hard again obviously i'd love him to make a shot a couple free throws might have made a difference but i love what he's done and and they're all starting to a little bit figure out where they are we have guys back we have some time to you know, get to know each other, to figure some things out. Um, you know, and, and again, that one little stretch where we probably didn't keep our poise, but again, as you said, uh, we took a pretty good shot and we didn't fall down. We got back up. Again, I, I can't say enough about our guys, how they've continued to get up. They've continued to believe. I think our coaches have done a great job of helping them stay positive. And now we got to got to do something to change the outcome. And, and, and it's, you know, I, I, I was hoping maybe they'd miss some shots tonight like they did Saturday, but they didn't, they didn't miss many. They made a whole bunch. Yeah, especially in the first half when they're hitting those threes. Is there anything the defense could have done better, or do you just shrug your shoulders when uh, they're they, making them like you know, that? They, one, I thought we got beaten transition D. We messed with rebounds, and we had talked about that. That was one of our big focuses. And then they, we get Davion on a guard or something. We get mismatches, and uh, we got to get back. And we, you know, just get back, find, get matchups. And they got a couple threes off that. They got a couple threes off the penetration. I thought the second half we manned up, and Coach Southwell had the scout said in the in there in the scout we had to play one on one defense and stay in front of them. And I thought we did a better job with that. Uh, in the second half, which limited their threes, because once they got biased in the first half, you know, now you got to help. You know, they moved the ball pretty well, and they obviously they made a lot of shots. I thought we moved the ball at times as well as we have all year. We watched the second half against Texas the first time, and we scored 40 some points. We said, This is the same stuff we can do. And but you got it, you know, we got to go out and do it from the get go attack closeouts, get in the paint, make the next kick, keep moving the basketball. And um, we're starting to get a little better feel of that. 
you know, and it's obviously it's it's nice to have Nigel uh, back in there. Um, you know, the first time we played him, we did not have him, and uh, he's a, he's a pretty good player. Thanks, Bruce. Okay, next question is John Kirk. Yeah, Bruce, do you, do you view this just as kind of a continuation of the progress that you made the other day on, on well, Saturday? I, I, you know, I could be negative and say, you know, and, and everybody, fans, I'm sure if they want to, you can you can look a lot of different ways. And I read something from Tom Brady today. I thought it was really interesting. He said all he focuses on in life is the positive. He threw three interceptions, second half of Packer game, um, and it, it's it's done and over with. you got to focus on the on the positive. They got to the Super Bowl. Now you got to get prepared, and I think it's, you know, that's that's a pretty elite guy talking about that. Obviously, he's been been unbelievable, but we just got to focus on the positive. Our guys continue to make improvement. They've done that, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, we can take one more step here and find a way to get some wins down this stretch run. Thanks as always. No, Mike said on the last shot that he was he was trying to draw the foul there. How, how tough is it in that scenario when you're facing um, them potentially you know, fouling we, you? I, I guess I wish you had a timeout. You could help them. Um, this is where we got hurt. The early practice is when we didn't have people because all the stuff you do in those early practices, the last second situations, all that type of thing, um, we just didn't have. You know, we, you, you do it once. We did something yesterday, a last second situation. But you don't, ha you, you know, you didn't get to play some of those games. I wish I had a timeout. I thought Mike should have shot the one before that when he passed it because they actually did follow him on that one. Um, I didn't think they were going to follow at the end because, you know, we just, uh, you know, they, they I think they were going to try to keep it in front and see if he could make that long three. Thanks, Bruce. Uh, next question, uh, uh, Ryan Black. Uh, hey, Bruce, you, you mentioned a couple of times that you, that you just thought there was that one stretch to begin the second half uh, where you guys lost your poise. Uh, do you think that had anything to do with just the fact you guys played so unbelievably well on offense in the first half, only to see Texas play just that slight bit better? I know that had to be super frustrating as a player. Um, I don't know if they're frustrated, but they we just said, hey, guys, we took their best shot at halftime. And we're right here. You know, you, you didn't think they would, you know, could even, you know, they couldn't play that well the second half. Um, they played pretty well, I thought, but not, I thought we did a better job defensively. They still score 80. And, it, you know, I was just talking with Stan and Wyatt about it. I, you know, they scored 80. And, and I, can you say your defense was good? Well, at parts we were. And other parts, they just are really good. And they have a lot of players. And they got guys coming off the bench that probably would start a lot of places. And, uh you know, they, uh, but we were better. We were better prepared. We played better. Um, you know, just like I said, that little stretch maybe could make a difference. But, uh, you know, I just, I just want it for our guys because they, they have, they have been, they've been knocked down, kicked around. They keep getting up. And that, that goes a long way about character building and becoming a, a man and, and your, and your future. And then secondly, Bruce, I know this, this, is, this is a very high praise that he said this, but, but Mike said he felt like there in the last, I think he said, six to eight minutes of the game, he felt like uh, his, the team was defending like the team did, you know, his freshman and sophomore years. Do you think that's accurate? Or is that a little too, too, I, too off base? Again, I'd have to watch film, but we did yeah. some really good things defensively. I, I, and Because they, they didn't stop playing. I mean, we were getting over ball screens. We were – you know, tagging, we were in help, we were fighting it, we made them take tough shots. And and again, these are elite guards, senior guards, guys that Coleman has more starts than probably most of our team combined, uh, except maybe Mike. But, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, it, it. we did some good things. And, I, you know, I don't, I'd have to, to really make the same statement Mike made. Uh, I'd have to watch the film, but we, we definitely have, are much better than we were a couple of weeks ago. Um, and now you just, just hope we can figure something out. One more step, keep our guys out of foul trouble. You know, those type of things. Thank you so much, Bruce. Okay, next question to Michael Goins. 
Yeah, Bruce, just uh, your ability to, to withstand their pressure and, and limit the turnovers tonight. I think you had three in the first half, uh, seven in the second half. Yeah, I mean, and seven, seven, some of those, those weren't, you know, against the press. They were just like careless mistakes, unforced errors. Um, and a couple of offensive fouls or screening fouls, those are always turnovers. So we had a few of those, but, you know, that, uh, again, a major difference from the first game where they just like, you know, we're going to press you and we're going to take the ball away from you. And that's how they had the big run. Um, we took a little more time, you know, the last couple of day or yesterday for sure, and a little bit Sunday. Uh, press breaker, we went through some trap drills uh, where you had to fight through some traps, and I thought our guys did a pretty good job of that. And you like to talk about offensive flow. It seems like it's it's really improved here the last two games. I, I think starting with uh, Texas A&M, I don't even know, it, I minus blank who we played before that, but um, – you know, I, I think we have we've made some flow. We we've gotten better and understand how to keep the ball moving. Um, you know, doing some we we're doing some good things. And uh, you know, that again, there's some continuity there. We have the same guys in there. Uh, we've been able to, uh, you know, play off of Nigel a little bit, and uh, we've gotten better. There's no doubt. Thank you. Any other questions for Coach before we let him go? Okay. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate your Yeah, time. I did. I wanted to mention about K-State Proud. I would say I got the T-shirt on. Uh, it's an unbelievable organization. Uh, it's, and I've been a lot of places, and I, I don't know if there's any other place in the country where students help other students and get them through tough times and financial times and donate money. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great thing. Uh, we... You know, we told our guys, I hope they're proud to be part of K-State. I hope they donate, um, you know, to help others. And, uh, you know, I, it just – and we're proud of them. We're proud of them, as I said, that they, they've they been knocked down. A lot of people have been knocked down. you got to keep getting up. Uh, that's the K-State way to help others. So uh, if, you, if you have the chance that you can help somebody, whether it's K-State proud or Cats covered, it's a, it's a really positive thing to help students through real difficult times.